Hello everyone, my name is Chun Ha. I'm from the University of Sydney. Today, I'm going to present my work on deciding when to trade data freshness for performance in MongoDB as service. I'll be starting from the contribution. So in this piece of work, we present an approach to improve the overall performance of MongoDB as a service by better utilizing its primary and secondary data nodes given a mixture of updates and read-only transactions. And also, we present a method to automatically choose read preference and runtime. The key thing uh, to achieve this is to detecting when the primary copy is saturated in MongoDB as a service. And to achieve this, this goal, we face a couple of challenges. The first one is how can cloud consumers decide when the primary node is saturated? Aiming at a cloud consumer, that means we lack much of the information about server operating statistics. And secondly, we would like our um, solution to be able to work out of box. That means it should be independent from database hardware configurations and workload. This essentially means where the bottleneck is for the primary node is unclear. For example, for one workload, the bottleneck might be um, on the CPU, but when you change to another workload, the bottleneck might be this I.O. And we also want our system to make local decisions for a client with only local knowledge and low overheads. Okay, now let's start with the background. So MongoDB internally use a synchronized primary backup replication. In this setting, all writing requests goes to the primary copy. And, and then those updates will be sent to the secondary copy um, by log shipping. In this setting, that means that the data on the secondary nodes can be somewhat stale. So in MongoDB, there's a, there's a tuning knob called read preference. The reads can be directed to either the primary node or the secondary node. Now, let's see a, a couple of cases to figure out when it's more reasonable to send reading requests to the primary copy and when it's more reasonable to send reading requests to secondary copies. Um, we suppose now we have a MongoDB replica set here. It has one primary node and two secondary nodes. Suppose now, um, all three nodes are not busy at all. Everyone is healthy. And when a client with an only read request come, it is more reasonable to send this reading request to the primary copy. This is because when sending it to a primary copy, we can achieve uh, both the performance and data freshness. Since the primary copy is not busy at all, uh, it can serve this reading request very quickly. And um, by definition, all data on the primary copy are fresh. But now, Suppose the primary copy is quite busy. It is serving a huge amount of writing requests. Now, when a client with a read-only request comes in, it is more reasonable to send it to secondary copies. This is because if we send it to a primary copy, we may have to wait for a very long time. But sending it to secondary copy, we can get our results back swiftly. What we are actually doing here is trade data freshness for performance, we get the data we get might be somewhat stale, but we but the performance um, is much better. So from the analysis above, we may already find out that when to when send a reading request to primary copy and when sending a reading request to secondary copy is something to be decided uh, during the application runtime. However, the state of the art is to express the read preference setting directly in the code. The programmers um, must decide whether to make this trade-off during application development time. And at that time, they do not have a full understanding of the workload, hardware, and all sorts of settings. So just to reiterate, um, in this piece of work, we present an, an, an approach to improve the overall performance of MongoDB as a service by better utilizing the primary and secondary data nodes given a mix of updates and read-only transactions. We also present a method to automatically choose the read preference runtime by detecting when the primary copy is saturated in MongoDB as a service. Okay, uh, let's now see our approach. So um, our solution to this approach um, 
is we present an approach called Read Preference Manager. The architecture of the Read Preference Manager is shown on the right hand side. Um, so on this slide, we present an overview of the Read Preference Manager. The manager shares two things with the clients. Firstly, there are two queues which keep transactions latency, um, one for all reading requests sent to the primary, and one for all reading requests sent to the secondary copies. And secondly, the read preference manager shares the most recent suggestion um, to all the clients. Now, on this slide, we are going to discuss how the MongoDB clients work. Before sending out a read-only transactions, the clients first examine the most recent recommendation from the read preference manager. And most of the reading requests just simply follow the recommendation made by the read preference manager. However, there will be a small proportion of read-only invocations. They will be directed to the opposite choice. Note that in MongoDB, you can only direct your reading, uh, your reading requests to either primary copy or secondary copies. You cannot say which secondary copy you would like your reading requests be sent to. So it's, it's more like a binary choice. Okay, by doing this, um, most of the uh, reading requests sent to a primary copy and a small proportion of the read-only invocations are directed to a secondary copy um, to the opposite choice. Um, in this setting, we can both understand the situation on one choice and the other. And after execution, all the clients will report the reads the read latency observed on the client side to the read preference manager. Now let's look at how the read preference manager works. So the read preference manager, um, it wakes up periodically. Once wake up, it calculates the median, median latency value of all read only transactions sent to the primary copy and secondary copy respectively. Then it calculates the ratio of these mediums. Concretely, it calculates the median of latency for all read-only transactions sent to the secondary copy divided by the medium latency of all read-only transactions sent to a primary copy. If the ratio is below a threshold, um, the decision for the next period is secondary. This is because um, if the ratio is below a threshold, that means in the previous period, um, the medium latency um, of the read-only transactions sent to a primary copy are quite large, so the decision for the next period is secondary, and otherwise it goes to primary. Okay, after introducing our method, let's look at some benchmarking results. So we benchmark our results on MongoDB Atlas, which is a MongoDB service provided by MongoDB, and we put our uh, client codes on AWS EC2. And the workload we use is a read intensive TPCC. In this workload, we tweak um, the percentage of stock level transactions from 4% to 50%. The reason why we're doing this is shown on the right hand side. The figure on the right hand side shows the maximum throughput of TPCC with varying percentage of stock level transactions. And in each percentage, we show two columns. The first one, uh, with the letter PRI on it shows when the system, when all read-only transactions in the system are sent to the primary copy. In the second column, the orange column shows when all read-only read, read transactions are sent to the secondary copy. So when there's only 4% of stock level transactions in the workload, um, we, do not, we cannot observe much difference in terms of maximum throughput. However, when a percentage of stock level transactions gets larger and larger, um, for example, 50%, 70%, and 90%, the difference in terms of maximum throughput is huge. And we would like our results to be more obvious, more easy uh, to be observed. So we choose 50% um, as a stock level transaction uh, in this workload. Okay, now let's see some results. The first figure, the figure on the left hand side, it shows the percentage of the recommendations uses secondary made by the read preference manager. So from this figure, we can see that when the workload is low, for example, when, the load, when there are only 10 clients, 20 clients, and 30 clients, 
the read preference manager will always suggest um, most of the read-only read transactions goes to the uh, primary copy. However, when the load gets larger and larger, for example, 150 clients and 200 clients, um, then in this case, reads, the read preference manager would send most of the reading requests uh, to the secondary copy. Um, on the second graph, it shows the throughput of the stock level transactions in a read intensive workload. So in this figure, we compare, we compare three things. The first blue solid line that shows um, when the read preference is hard coded as primary copy. And the orange dash line that shows um, when the read preference is hard coded as secondary copy. The, um, the green uh, dashed line between that shows the, sy the system is working with an activated uh, read preference manager. So from this figure, we can see that throughputs is only slightly less than the corresponding hard-coded choice uh, when the uh, read preference manager is activated. That means um, the manager has a very low overhead. Okay, um, in this figure, we showed 80% higher latency of stock level transactions um, in the same workload. Again, we compare three things. The first one is um, the blue solid line when the read preference uh, is hard coded as primary, and orange line uh, when the read preference is hard coded as secondary, and the green dashed line, um, which shows uh, when read preference manager is activated. From this figure, we can see that 80 percent higher latency will be under control when, when the read preference manager is used. The, read, uh, the 80 percent higher latency will not be skyrocketing like uh, when the read preference manager is hard coded as a primary. Finally, let's see the trade-off between the throughput and 80 percent higher staleness of stock level transactions. So the number, uh, the size of the marker and the number above the marker shows the number of clients, which indicates um, how, how heavy the workload is. And in this figure, the uh, horizontal axis shows 80 percentile data staleness. The vertical axis shows the throughput. And we would like to point out here that the left upper corner is the desirable part, desirable zone in this figure. Because that means in this in this part, it means we have a very small uh, staleness, but we have a large throughput. And if we if we if we look at um, the 120 client stocks, we can see that when primary is saturated by read plus writes, but not writes alone, um, the read preference manager can obtain throughput which is quite close to the hard coded secondary but with a considerably uh, lower data stones. Okay, now I'm going to summarize this work. So firstly, contribution. So in this piece of work, uh, we present an approach to improve the overall performance uh, of MongoDB as a service by better exploiting the primary and secondary data nodes, um, given a mixture of updates and read-only transactions. We also show a method to automatically choose read preference at runtime um, detecting when the primary copy is saturated in MongoDB as a service. We face two challenges. The first one is we aim to a cloud consumers. Um, that basically means um, we do not have much operating statistics available. And secondly, we would like our system to be able to work out of the box. Um, that means our solution should be independent from database hardware, configurations, and workload. Finally, the solution we present um, is firstly the client track latency for reads on primary versus reads on secondaries. And then the read preference manager recommends use of secondary for reads when the medium latency of recent reads on the primary more than twice the medium latency of recent reads on secondaries. Okay, finally, um, I would like to say this, this talk is presented in online poster session for ICD 2020, and I hope you can join me there for further discussions. Thank you very much.